Exploring the secrets of caves sealed for millions of years, scientists have made an astonishing discovery. These ancient caves hold more than just silence and darkness. Life has a remarkable ability to thrive in unexpected places. So join us on an extraordinary journey as we explore the hidden wonders within the Earth's mysterious caves, from ancient artifacts to remnants of lost civilizations and even the possibility of encountering new species, these caverns hold untold surprises. Here we began. The Giant Crystal Cave Deep beneath Mexico's Sierra de Nica Mountain lies a hidden wonder that seems straight out of a fantasy story. The giant crystal cave, nestled 984 feet underground, is a mesmerizing realm adorned with extraordinary gypsum crystals. These magnificent crystals have silently grown for over half a million years, forming colossal pillars that stretch across the cave. Some people have compared this cave to Superman's mythical fortress of solitude. Unfortunately, due to its hazardous conditions, tourists can't access this crystalline marvel. Even scientists face difficulties exploring it. The cave's formation resulted from regional fault lines and magma, which caused water to flood the cave. Over time, the water's temperature decreased, leading to the formation of unique selenite crystals. These crystals, shielded from temperature changes, grew continuously to find time limits. Altamora Man In an Italian cave called La Maluna, a fascinating discovery was made that unraveled the secrets of our ancient relatives. Meet Altamora Man a skeleton that is 170,000 years old. This remarkable find amazed researchers because it was the oldest Neanderthal skeleton from which DNA could be extracted. The fragile state of the skull and its entrapment within stalactites and stalagmites made it challenging to analyze fully. However, scientists were able to extract DNA from Altamora Man's right shoulder blade, which holds the potential to provide a comprehensive understanding of Neanderthal life. Altamora Man is an exceptional fossil, with almost all its bony elements preserved, giving us a unique glimpse into the past. Although identifying Altamora Man's lineage was difficult due to some unique features, radiocarbon dating revealed that the skeleton is between 130,000 to 170,000 years old. Also, these bones are not the oldest Neanderthal fossils known to us. Oldest Bow Arrow Archaeologists found the oldest bow and arrow technology in a cave in Sri Lanka, dating back 40,000 years. This discovery provides the earliest evidence of archery in this part of the world. In addition to arrowheads, the cave contained decorative beads from ochre and marine snail shells. It's fascinating because this revelation has a huge impact in South Asia and suggests that it could be the oldest evidence of archery in Eurasia. It shows how technologically advanced these people were. This discovery tells us that our early human ancestors were adaptable and resourceful, with a diverse toolkit. It challenges the belief that all human innovation originated only in Africa and Europe. Archaeologists are excited because it highlights the inventive techniques of our ancestors in Sri Lanka who were ahead of their time. Axe Murderer In 1916, Joseph Henry Lovelace was suspected of murdering his wife with an axe and was sent to jail. However, he cleverly escaped using a saw blade hidden in his shoe and disappeared. In 1979, a family stumbled upon a disturbing discovery in Buffalo Cave, Idaho, a headless torso in a burlap sack. Twelve years later, a matching hand was found nearby, leading to a search that eventually uncovered the missing legs in one arm. After 18 years, they confirmed through a DNA test that the body belonged to Loveless, his grandson who provided the DNA sample. The details of Loveless' death remain uncertain, with some speculating that Agnes's family sought vengeance against him. Mobile Cave Romania In Romania, a cave called the Mobile Cave remained isolated for 5.5 million years until researchers finally gained access to it. This cave is unique because it has a dangerous environment with no sunlight and toxic air, yet it houses a remarkable ecosystem. The air inside the cave has less oxygen than the open air and is filled with carbon dioxide and hydrogen sulfide. Since its discovery in 1986, biologists have been fascinated by this cave and its inhabitants. In a 1996 study, they identified 48 species, with 33 of them being unique to the Mobile Cave. These cave-dwelling creatures, such as spiders, wood lice, and snails, have adapted to the dark environment by losing their vision and pigmentation. They have long limbs and antenna that navigate effectively in darkness. 
What makes this cave even more extraordinary is that it's the first land-based ecosystem known to rely on chemosynthetic bacteria for energy instead of photosynthesis. While there are still many mysteries to uncover in this cave, it reminds us that life can thrive in harsh conditions, offering insights into the possibilities of life elsewhere in the universe. Oldest Wine Ever Researchers made an extraordinary discovery in a cave in Sicily, unearthing evidence of winemaking dating back over 6,000 years. This challenges our understanding of wine's ancient roots. They found organic samples of wine in terracotta jars from the Copper Age, which had been stored in the cave for centuries. The presence of tartaric acid and cream of tartar confirmed that the jars were used to store wine. This discovery pushes back the history of winemaking in Italy by 3,000 years, rewriting our understanding of its origins. Sicily, known for its wine production, can now boast an even more ancient wine culture. It's a fascinating glimpse into the rich heritage of winemaking that has evolved over centuries. Fire Scorched Stalagmites In a cave in southern France, archaeologists made an astonishing discovery. Ancient fire-scorched rings of stalagmites that date back 175,000 years. These rings were built by Neanderthals, our long-lost cousins, challenging our previous perceptions of their abilities. Located 30 miles from Toulouse, the cave contains two circular structures made from meticulously stacked stalagmites, a perfect seven-foot circle in an oval shape. What's puzzling is that these structures show signs of being burnt. It's unclear why they were set ablaze. This discovery reveals that Neanderthals were sophisticated architects who engaged in social organization, teamwork, and planning. While we can't determine their exact purpose, it's clear that creating these structures requires skill, organization, and a sense of design. This finding shows Neanderthals were on par with early humans in their technical abilities, hunting skills, and artistic expression. Learning about our ancient relatives' construction prowess and creativity is remarkable. Extinct Bird In 1987, a team of archaeologists from the Speleological Society of New Zealand made an exciting discovery. They uncovered a claw from the long-extinct moa bird, and what amazed them was that muscles and flesh were still attached to the bony remains. The moa birds were once widespread in New Zealand, with eight different species ranging in size from that of a turkey to massive birds standing 12 feet tall and weighing up to 500 pounds. Experts dated the claw around 3,300 years old, confirming its ancient origin. Pictures of the flesh-covered claw went viral on social media, with people comparing it to something out of a science fiction movie. Even Mark Hamill, who played Luke Skywalker in Star Wars, jokingly commented on Twitter that the claw resembled the hand of a rancor, a fictional creature from Return of the Jedi. Five 9,000-year-old skeleton In 1903, a history teacher discovered a 9,000-year-old skeleton in a cave in Cheddar, England. Little did anyone know that this remarkable find would later reveal an astonishing revelation. Years later, the teacher, Adrian Target, living nearby, was recognized as a direct relative of the deceased, spanning 300 generations. Through DNA analysis, Target's genetic makeup aligned with that of the Cheddar Man, the oldest complete skeleton ever found in Britain. The Cheddar Man lived around 7150 BC, predating the advent of agriculture. The genetic connection erases intriguing questions about the preservation and continuity of human genetic heritage. The revelation emerged during the production of a TV series, and DNA tests were conducted on individuals with ancestral ties to the region. The Cheddar Gorge Cave, where the skeleton was found, holds significance in uncovering Paleolithic human remains in England. This discovery challenges assumptions about the spread of farming and offers insights into early human agriculture. The Cheddar Man's life would have been connected to forests and wildlife as a hunter-gatherer. Cheddar Gorge provided a secure environment for this community. Physically, the Cheddar Man would resemble contemporary humans. The remarkable familial link between the Cheddar Man and Adrian Target surpasses any previously recorded connections to distant ancestors. This connection spans an awe-inspiring expanse of time, revealing the enduring threads that connect us to our ancient roots. Crystallized Human Sacrifice The Cave of the Crystal Sepulchre, also known as Actun to Nikhil Maknal in Belize, is an ancient archaeological site with a treasure trove of Mayan artifacts and unsettling discoveries. This cave was used for sacrificial rituals where people were sacrificed to please the gods. Exploring the cave reveals skeletons lying among ceremonial items with some placed on altars. 
The most striking is the crystal maiden, the skeletal remains of a 17-year-old boy covered in calcium crystals, resembling a twisted sculpture. Returning to the ancient Maya period, reaching the cave was challenging, requiring swimming through the entrance. Only two tour operators are permitted to guide visitors. If you're up for an adventurous and spine-tingling experience, Aktun Tunikil Muknal offers a haunting journey and a memorable lesson in history. So what do you think of the discoveries in these monumental caves? Comment below your views and subscribe for more.